Today I'm going to be drawing a Pokemon. I have a stuffed animal actually of him right here. I have a collection of Pokemon stuffed animals because I love Pokemon and I love drawing them. So it's going to be Rowlet. And so as you can see here, he has these two leaves right here. Um, his head is more of like a sideways H shape. He's very round and his feet are really like pointy. So I'm going to use for like the outline, I'm going to use this German kind of like a Sharpie marker and this micron. I'm going to use this for just sketching. And I also have black Sharpie markers so I can use those too. Um, so for the colors, I have this for the leaves. It's like a very similar color contrast. Um, I'm going to make him special. He's going to be bronze or I can choose bronze or gold. One of the two. Whatever color he is, we we'll just make that bronze or gold. And for his feet, it's bright orange color. So let's get to it. All right, so first we draw an oval for the beak. And then inside the oval, a little curve for the mouth. And then on top of that, you have a little point right there. Okay, and next we have to draw the eyes, two more smaller ovals. And then we draw around the face, kind of a strange like pointed shape so it's like a circle and then you point it into the chin and then another circle around uh, but right here I actually screwed up the forehead so I had to erase it all and redraw it because it did not look good <laughs> so I uh, had to fix it right at the point and then next we're going to um, put more lead into my pencil because it got screwed up again it got broken all right now I'm done with the stupid forehead and we can get on with the eyeballs so now we're gonna draw a smaller oval inside and I screwed it up here again so I'll erase that all right now I'm gonna try again there that's way better okay but when you draw with the black marker it doesn't matter how big or small the whites are because you can't see it. You can just make it smaller and also the black marker bleeds through so that it doesn't look that bad. Next we have to draw around the face so very carefully that you don't screw up and like make it jagged. Gonna make it very round and then stop right there because you're gonna make wings soon. He doesn't really use his wings that much to fly because he's always sleeping or sitting down so there, gotta erase that. It didn't look very good. Next, we have to kind of curve it inwards after. So, and all the way down. There, curve it. And then you have to kind of slice through. And then curve all the way up. Those are his legs. Like, the thighs, kind of. So, I'm gonna leave that open. But then I need to make this wing wider so gotta make it really like very smooth and then point it up there and then make a little like armpit flap there and then leave room for the leaves that are coming up so then you have to draw a line right there so that it looks more 3d I'll fix that with the the metal metallic marker because it uh, it can erase it better. So next we have to fix the other wing, and there we gotta draw the leaves, and then it has to like almost connect, and then it goes under the chin. There we go. I'll add the lines and the leaves with the marker later. So then you point the toes like this. One toes, like one set of toes. Oh, oh no, I screwed up. Gotta erase that. One set of toes, 
it's pointed to the side while the other one's more spread out. So we'll do the one to the side first and then this one's going to be more spread out. There we go. There. And then now we're done with the sketch. Just have to fix anything that's messed up. First, we are going to fill in the eyes when it comes to coloring in because black should always go first. So you have to be careful that the whites in the eyes don't get colored over so that you screw up completely and have to redraw your whole entire creation. That would really suck. So we gotta make it just so. There we go, that looks good. Then the second one, um, you gotta just circle around the white until you get it to the perfect shape. There, that's nice. Just a little more on the top. There. Okay, next we're going to outline the beak. Once we finish this, okay, there we go. We're gonna use my black micron pen for this. Just gotta go all the way around. Just don't make any jaggedness to it because it's a round circle. It has to be perfect. And then we get the little loop and the little point next to it. There we go. And then you gotta go all the way around the head as well. You gotta outline every single line you drew with the pencil because otherwise it's not gonna look good. And then you can erase with the pencil when you're done outlining. So get all the way under the chin. Here we go. And then fix it all the way down the forehead. You gotta be very careful. Very smoothly. There we go, perfect. Okay, now we're gonna get the leaves all the way over here. And make sure they have that little semi point. There we go. And then underneath and around. Okay, that looks really good actually. We just have to erase the pencil lines when we are done so that it looks so much better. Um, and we had to add the lines like there were on the picture. There's lines in the leaf. Um, then we're gonna get all the way around underneath and here. And then I'm gonna do the head on the side. Oh. This part is really hard, actually. I think it's the hardest part when it comes to drawing anything. It is the outline when you use a marker or a micron pen. Because it's just so easy to screw up. Like, right here, it just did. Wow. Okay, that sucks. I guess maybe I can fix that later. Okay, and go all the way down. Alright. And next we can finish off the toes and then we'll start coloring when we're done with this. See, this is probably the most boring part because coloring in is so much better and fun. All done. All right. First thing we're going to do is choose the eraser. You got to erase everything. All the stupid lines. Otherwise, when you color on it, you're going to see the lines and it's going to look horrible. Okay. Erase it all. Yes. There's more crap. Gotta erase it. Yeah. There we go. That's, that looks good. It looks better. It looks, it looks pretty nice. Uh, so much eraser crap everywhere. I'm gonna have to just sweep it all off when I'm done. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Get it all off. There we go. Okay. Now that we're done with that, we can color in. Also, I have to f try to fix this ring. I don't think it's gonna work. I'll just have to fix it with a, the bronze marker right now. Get the bronze marker. Okay, there we go. I chose it instead of the gold one because, in my opinion, it looks better on Rowlet because Rowlet's not necessarily a gold color. I think he's more of a bronze. I The only reason I'm using a bronze marker or a gold marker is because I don't, really have the right color for Rowlet because he's more of like a light tan and the Sharpies I got did not come with a tan it came with a dark brown but I'm not using dark brown for him that's just not what you use for a little little friendly guy like Rowlet 
Got to get all the way up here. Oh, and also make sure you don't draw over the black unless you're trying to fix it. Like, like, look, watch this. You see? Yeah? Doesn't that look so much better? You ready? <gasps> wow. Magic. <laughs> it's kind of like a um, white out, except it's bronze out. Because you use the bronze to get the black off. And now it looks good. I fixed the wing. Doesn't look that bad anymore. This is the best way to fix anything when you're using Sharpie markers. You just gotta use the bronze. The metallic collection of Sharpies is actually pretty cool. I just got silver and gold and bronze. I wanna get more because they're really helpful. Um, I got mine for my birthday, but you can buy them at like anywhere. I think you can buy them at like Walmart or um, Michaels or Hobby Lobby, any of those craft stores. You can buy them metallic markers, just them. But I got mine in like a 24 set because I wanted a ton of Sharpies. <laughs> I have like so many more colors than these three that I'm using in this one. So we gotta finish off the head, and then we can go on to the leaves. We're gonna be coloring in with, like, kind of a cyan or a teal. I can't really tell the difference because they're very similar colors. Um, but I prefer that color myself. It's very, very cute. Um, I just gotta get this part. I gotta make sure we don't screw it up because otherwise it'll look like his forehead is connected to his normal head. There we go. Now I'm gonna finish it up right in the middle. There. It's kind of like a diamond shape. It's really pretty. Okay, now we can finally use the good color. All right, let's color in the leaves with cyan. I'm just gonna call it cyan. I mean, it might be teal or, oh, what was the one I said earlier? I don't know. I don't really care. <laughs> I'm gonna make it look so good so that you don't have any whites in there. This is like very nice looking. It's such a pretty color. There we go. By the way, if you hear weird noises, it's because my dog is snoring right next to me and he's really loud. Yeah. So gotta just whoopity doopity swoop. Here we go, get it all in there. Yeah, looks nice. All finished. Next up, we're gonna do the feet. So, get our orange out. And um, by the way, this orange is a little bit too dark for um, the feet, because I did not have any other orange. Like I said before, like, I didn't have the tan color for Rowlet. I don't have the right orange for his feet. This is more of like a deep red kind of orange color it's very dark and honestly I think it would look better with kind of like a neon orange or like just a bright lighter orange because it doesn't look very nice on him otherwise I think it looked okay in this actually but it's not a hundred percent what I'd want to use because like look at how dark that is honestly all right now we color in the beak and all done, everybody. All done. Looks pretty okay to me. His head's a bit retarded, but that's okay. All right, what do you think, Rowlet? Does it look like you? Maybe? Kind of? I don't know. Kind of makes me laugh when I look at it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and like my art. Because I didn't really like it as much as I thought I would. I've actually drawn Rowlet before, and it wasn't as good, I think, as the one I did before. Um, so don't forget to like, comment down below if you want to see another art video, and what sh should I draw, because I am running out of ideas. I have drawn a lot of things. My hair is being annoying right now. Um, so don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I'm having a room tour coming up in two weeks and a Minnesota vlog coming up in like three or four weeks. So stay tuned for those and see you later.